Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the analysis of Fioleno TV. I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, what is happening in UDA either is something that was expected or is something that was not expected. UDA house currently is under fire. If it's not Rigadi Gachagua talking, it is always Moses Kuria talking or Sudi talking or Kimani Ngunjiri talking about the uncomfortableness in that UDA party. So, but for this analysis, ladies and gentlemen, Malala is the one talking. Now, Clufus Malala took to the media yesterday and unleashed a statement regarding someone who had attacked UDA Facebook page. Mind you, one of the most important tools of any party is a social page. That is how they get to interact with the members or with the citizens or they get to share information regarding events and the like. So as to why Cleophas Malala could go to an extent of saying that their accounts have been hacked. I mean, literally, who could hack UDA's uh, pages? Despite the fact that UDA and Ruto one day talked about them having one of the most robust systems, robust IT, ICT team. Team that is headed by the likes of Dennis Itumbi. If you remember during elections they talked about their parallel tiling center one of the best according to them so who would have wanted to bring down a uda facebook page or uda social media handles and who would have wanted to spread misinformation official uda facebook page has been asked by an unknown person i want us to first of all exhaust this statement by Clovis Malala and why we think maybe Clovis Malala is just trying to counter some of the mistakes that have come from the office of the UDA. Before you do that, please let me encourage you to like this video. Please, that is the only way you support our work. Please like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are a viewer who wasn't subscribed. And to existing subscribers, thank you so much for making this channel grow. Because without you, this channel cannot grow. Cleophas Malala has been under siege lately. Especially after he came from, I don't know, China. A long week's China. And when he came back, he addressed the likes of Kimani Ngujiri. He addressed the likes of Sudi. He addressed the likes of Moses Kuria. He addressed the likes of Rigadi Gachagua. That they should not create division in the party. But you see, that statement did not sit well with those people he mentioned. Because even Sudi uh, responded to him. And there is another governor, Nyeri governor, Mutai Kahiga, who told Cleophas Malala that he is incompetent and he doesn't match uh, the former secretary general of jubilee talking about rafael tuju so uh, clefus malala was likened to rafael tuju and told that he is too incompetent to in fact be in that position but that statement to me i could interpret it that the team of mutai kaiga are, plot, are plotting a way of making sure that clefus malala does not return that seat Mind you, in fact, Cleophas Malala was never was never elected to be the SG. No, mem no member of, of UDA elected him. So he was just given that uh, because of William Ruto. But you see, when they go to the elections, now that is the time now these things will have to come out. And I think uh, Cleophas Malala will have to face the opponents. So he can either win or lose. And mind you, Cleophas Malala is one of those people who uh, can attend a cabinet meeting but he doesn't have a portfolio. I think this is akin to Raphael Tuju, who also used to attend cabinet meeting. So he was a CS without a portfolio. So he attends cabinet meetings, but he's not a member of the cabinet uh, team. So that is just a story for another day. So this Facebook fan page, you know, Facebook fan page. I want to announce that our communication platforms, that is the Facebook official UDA Facebook page, has been asked by an unknown person called Brian Haniri, 
who is not a member of the secretariat i would like to urge the general public to ignore any communication moving forward we've made reports to the facebook uh, uh, administrators that our account has been hacked and therefore any thing you see being posted on that page should be ignored and i'm sure the facebook um, and the social media our social media handles will be restored in a short while otherwise members of the uda party you should relax you should you all know how you know destructive uh, a page can be to a party when it's hacked by an opponent so let's say for example uh, clefas malala is telling the truth because we don't we don't we don't really you know believe in clefas malala these days but what if he's telling the truth and what if someone has, has really hacked it what's it like to happen if it has been hacked and cannot be recovered then that means there will be a lot of disinformation from that p p uh, page most likely i think clefas malala is just trying to defend himself from a statement that was posted in that page you know maybe there was a statement that was posted there that he is trying to vindicate himself from that blame because if at all it was posted then it could have been posted by the sg the way someone could have created a proxy account or a fictitious account within it to you know communicate to the people now, so if that is to happen then that means malala could be in hot soup when it comes to the election of the sg so malala realizes that if elections are held and with the growing differences right now after he poked holes in some politicians habits or behavior if elections are held today he knows very well that he's going to lose so because he knows that he's going to lose he has decided to bring in a narrative of hackers i mean hackers i believe you know about hackers maybe i might use the example of uh comago you know the issue of ibc and uh venezuela you know when the during the court cases there was talk of hacking that someone uh, intruded intruded into the ibc system and stayed there for the better part of the election period i mean almost one month someone only just logged in you know that is a hacker you know someone hacked into the ibc system the reason why you might hack into a system hacker page it's simply not for the benefit of the person owning that system or owning that uh, page most of the time is to spread misinformation to the public and this move if it happens then rest assured that uda party will suffer a great deal you remember the story of donald trump and uh how there was talk of hacking you know their page their their accounts were hacked morning came in a video the group posted online donald trump it has come to our attention that you want to ban all muslims to enter the united states this policy is going to have a huge impact this and then the, the story of cias and and the like and then there was talk that russia was involved the hackers in russia so the same way if this thing that uda secretary general is talking about is true if that is the case then i think there is going to be a lot of problem or a lot of trouble for the uda the level at which these hackers will spread misinformation to the public will be wanting but on a second if i look at this matter from the other side of the coin most likely clevers malala has sensed danger so this is just a way of vindicating himself or trying to defend himself because he has seen that he might not survive the sg position because already you just like i told you there are factions that have already built up there's a part a faction in in, in rift valley that supports a group in mount kenya there's a group in mount kenya that supports a that supports that supports a group in the rift valley and vice versa and there's a group in the western kenya that does not support gachagua but supports supports a faction in rift valley so that is how confused the state of uda is at the moment the uda party is confused so if you look at the primaries they are always chaotic and uda has branded itself uh, for many times many days that it is one of the most disciplined party but if you look at what is happening ladies and gentlemen to be honest it's unlike what have, has always been said so in a nutshell i find 
Cleophas Malala's statement as being of someone who is only defending himself from the previous altercations, online altercations, from the previous uh, misinformation, if I may use that word, you know. Cleophas Malala is simply trying to defend himself from these people who have already vowed to unseat him. <laughs> so let's just assume that Cleophas Malala is, is, does not secure uh, a, a position there as SG, you know, in any party. Secretary General is the most powerful person than even the, chair, the chairman. Because if you look at even the KMPDU, let's just say KMPDU, where there's Dr. Dav Giatella and my friend uh, Dr. Mwachi, you know, Dr. Ab Abiden Mwachi. You know, Abiden Mwachi is the chairperson or the chairman of uh, KMPDU. He's the CEO there. But if you look at the person who does a lot of, the, a lot of talking and a lot of uh, who is visibly in these issues of KPDU, Dr. Davji Atela. So that's why that's how it is even in the UDA party. There is a chairman. But then there is the Secretary General who, who is Malala. And Malala seems to be the most powerful person in the UDA party. That's why he was given a position in cabinet. Ask yourself why wasn't the chair the chairman given that position or the chairperson given that position in the cabinet? Why uh, Malala. So those are some of the things that if you consider well, then you realize that Malala is in for it. And unless he does anything to defend himself, he is going to be hosted by these two factions. They will host him. Because one thing you need to understand is that in this UDA arrangement, there is still the URP and the TNA aspect in it. Of course, you know that the URP are the people in Mount, in the Rift Valley. TNA, the people in the uh, in Mount Kenya. And most of those people are people who came from the Jubilee. So they will want to converge in one uh, side and produce their own preferred sector general. Especially, especially now that they are seeing a threat in UDA, they might decide to support a, a Mount Kenya sector general uh, candidate. And the people in Root Valley might also look at this thing from another perspective and see that Malala is an is an outsider. He was just appointed to, to that position, but he never worked towards building UDA, so he can't talk on our behalf. So, in fact, that's, so there will be a separate function, a faction, another faction of the coast region. So the UDA members in the coast region might decide that oh, because of these growing differences between the two factions, let us be the ones. To make a decision so we provide a swing vote so malala also knows that so the question is is malala going to be able to win over the costarian costarian uh, votes the block to be able to be safe because ruto wants malala to be there because he's a neutral person he must have known that if he picked someone from the mount kenya this uda would have gone to mount kenya if he picked someone from uh, the Rift Valley, it would have gone to the Rift Valley. That's why he said, Western to retain the SG, but cause to retain the chairman position. And then the uh, Mount Kenya to have the deputy or the vice chair. You know? So, this political game, game plans Malala is now very much aware about. That is why you find that he's making this kind of survival tactics. These are survival tactics. These are moves which you can comfortably refer to as survival tactics. And how they are going to work in favor to 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 support Malala's uh, uh, future, it's just a matter of time before we know. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to rest my case there, but what do you think about this video that I've just shared regarding hacking of UDA? <laughs> UDA pages have been hacked. Most likely, just like I said. The intention, if that is the case, is to, sp to spread misinformation. And probably, uh, if that is the case, you know, because these days, you can't rely on San Ivo. Let's just say it is just a matter of time before the truth will comes out. Eh? So perhaps if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, take one second and subscribe, like this video. So until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.